Here we are, it's the end of November, it's cold, it's not snowy, but it's dark. We are in Helsinki at Ricotech 2019. We make an interview with our partner KPMG, so we speak to Sarah Sipila from KPMG Global Strategy. Really looking forward to talk to her. Okay, here we are is, uh, with Global PopTech Leaders, an interview with KPMG, one of our partners. I'm sitting next to uh, Sarah Sipila from KPMG Finland. Hello. Welcome. Happy to be here with you, Wouter. Yeah, we are here at Recotech. This is awesome. How has it been for you? Oh, it's the best event of the year, I think. It's unbelievable. It's, yeah. It's like 12 o'clock nearly, so we have the morning sessions uh, behind exactly. us. It's just unbelievable what is happening. Yeah, the space is amazing. Yeah, the space is really amazing. Yeah. It is like an old train station. It's inside and it's just amazing what they put up here. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've got all cute. the like construction equipment. We've got scaffolding. We've, we're in a container right now. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, what, uh, tell me something about you. What do you do at KPMG? So I'm uh, involved with strategy and I work with companies, um, well, a wide variety of companies throughout the uh, real estate and construction value chain, um, you know, starting from building materials, building technology, you know, to design planning, construction, um, developers, you know, tra transactions, really all throughout. Um, Helping, helping companies kind of decide where to grow, where to invest, um, thinking about how to transform in terms of technology. I also serve other sectors. Unfortunately, I can't focus only on prop tech no. and, and you know, real estate and construction, but this is my favorite piece of, of, of what we do. So what kind of strategies do you bring to the table to those construction and real estate companies? Yeah, so I mean, the conversations I'm having a lot right now is, is, is that you know, companies are really realizing that they need to change and they need to transform and they don't know how. And so we're having conversations about, for, for example, how to digitalize the supply chain, um, how to use new construction techniques, how to bring in you know, different kind of digital platform tools that you know, help them transform their businesses. I'm also you know, evaluating different growth opportunities, doing market studies, um, helping them identify you know, potential targets or potential places to invest. And you know, I also work with uh, growth companies looking to uh, fundraise. And so we might do a piece of strategy work for them, helping them kind of figure out how to enter a certain market. And then we work closely with the corporate finance team to access funding. So it's a really broad cool. variety of stuff that we do. Yeah, cool. Is it also about uh, data strategies and stuff like that? We do that too, yeah. Yeah, the nice thing about KPMG is that we have a really full scope of advisory services that we can offer. So it might not be me, but it, it you know, we can offer the, the full scope from strategy, um, you know, technology advisory, cybersecurity. Yeah, that's uh, also a big one. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, digital transformation, you know, fundraising, integration, carve out, I mean, legal, tax, audit, everything. Cool. So tell me a little bit about your background because your last name is really Finnish, but yep. your English is not really that f no, Finnish no, accent. No, exactly. I'm, I'm hoping that I don't have a Finnish accent no, at all no. because I'm, I'm from New York originally and I've been in Finland actually almost 20 years at this point. Um, I came uh, in, in 2001 uh, and have been here most of the time ever since. So. Um, yeah, I never really knew that I would necessarily end up doing all kinds of stuff in real estate and construction, but I did my first project um, when when I was with uh, Booz & Company uh, in my, my former life uh, and worked with a, a building technology company doing a big growth strategy for them. We, we identified about 500 million in growth opportunities for them at that time. Wow. And it's been really cool to see them like implement that strategy and stuff we talked about then like you know how to bring more technology into the building and you know how to get people to invest more in the technology to get lower life cycle costs which was a huge challenge back then in 2005 um, to really see that kind of come to where we are now it's still a challenge but i think we've made a huge amount of progress where people are realizing that the benefit of putting things that are more expensive into the buildings to enable things later on which is exciting yeah, so how do you see where we stand we, we, last week we had an event in new york and one mm -hmm. of your colleagues was speaking there about the global prop tech survey yep, from yep. kpmg 
Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the survey? What is, yeah, uh, what you, exactly. What do, you, what do you find? Exactly. So, I mean, I think we're making progress. What we see really is, I, I think it's something like 58% of companies have, you know, a digital strategy, not maybe enterprise-wide, but in some areas. 58. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and I mean, that's up from like 52 in the last two years, which I think, so, you know, we so are kind growing. of, we're, we're making progress, but there are still gaps. I mean, we have leaders now in, in the companies that have been appointed. I think it's 95% have a digital, you know, transformation kind of innovation leader now, and most of them are reporting to the CEO. So I oh, think we're good. we're getting there in, in terms of that. But a lot of these leaders actually don't have a technical or digital background. Okay. So we're, we're, we're so where did they come from? Still from real lot, estate and a construction yes, background? Yes. Yes. Some finance as well. And so I mean, what we're seeing is is we're starting to do some of the right things, but there's still a gap. There's still a big gap. And I think that the companies don't know, you know, what what to do now and this the, the the survey results and what I hear from clients I think are really in line is that they now know we really need to do something and a lot of them you know are thinking what and how now yes yeah. so of, it is in the boardroom yes so people are talking about it at the exactly. right level exactly so um, they should all come here at Ricotech to see and find out what and, they can do and I think a lot of them are which is really great to see that we see a huge amount of the more established players it's not just an event for startups I think we're seeing, you know, the, the people realize that this is an event and really interested in what these companies are doing. So I, I'm, I'm excited. Cool. So can you tell us a little bit, uh, because you tell, the, well, companies are now into the what and into the how, what exactly. they can do. Can you give them a little bit of tips and mm -hmm. advice what, mm -hmm. what they can do? So, I mean, what I'd like to see more of is companies kind of, you know, establishing sort of a, a, an ecosystem and, you know, working with and, and piloting and, and potentially even investing in some of these startups, making small bets. I don't think you have to go big, but I think we have to have an environment where we can test some stuff out. And we don't know at this point, I think, which solutions are going to be the ones that, you know, are, are the winners long term because there's so many. It's so fragmented it's, today. Yeah, it's really fragmented. Yeah. Yeah, everybody is in his niche. It, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I mean, what we see in Finland, I, I've, I've identified uh, along with, um, you know, PropTech Finland, we, we've got a list of like 191 companies in Finland. Only Finland. Only Finland. Yeah, yeah which I mean, is huge, by yeah. the way, right? And I mean, this is more than Unisu has and I, I mean, many of the other like people that are gathering these lists of companies. So, and, and I'm finding more like every week. Cool. I'm sure I'm going to have more like after this event. I tried to get to 200 before today, but we didn't <laughs> there get go. there. We didn't get there. But, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to, to see a bit of consolidation as well. I'd yes. like to see some investors come in and, and take two to three companies and put them together and say, you know, this is maybe solving a bit more of a larger problem because I think that's a barrier for these bigger companies as well is they have this huge business and they don't really want to work with like 20 different solutions no, to, for solve, just one to solve these different yeah. pieces of their problem. I'm, one, one example of that is um, you, you know, the construction software bit. I mean, because there's just so many little pieces. Of course, there are big players like Autodesk, and I mean, they want to come in and they bought, you know, Plan Grid and Build Connected. And yes. I mean, so they're looking at that and realizing that that's the way to, yeah, to, to go. To bring everything yeah, together. Yeah. yeah. But I'm kind of hoping that there'll be like a, a smaller startup that'll like somehow gain traction. I'm kind of rooting for the smaller guys. Yeah. So what do you think is, uh, when we talk about prop tech companies from Finland, yeah. which companies are you uh, really excited about? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I was just in the the um, pitching competition and I think, you know, we had some really good companies there. I think, you know, Congrid is, is a really good one. I think Chaos Architects is, is another interesting one. Cubicasa was there. They just got some really interesting, good funding. Yes. Um, you know, there there are others that I think in this space that are larger and not just startups. I think we've got like some interesting players in the building automation field. And I mean, they, these guys have been around for like 10 years, but in my mind, there's prop tech just as much as the rest of them because for sure. they're really putting the brains in the building. And and a, a great company that, that I know is Fidelix, which, um, you know, they have a, a pretty uh, well-recognized you know, Nordic kind of solution for, for uh, building automation and, and they've, you know, done really well, still growing hugely. Um, so I think that there's a lot of different types of companies um, and there's there seems to be room for, for everybody. Um, but 
you know, I think in the next like two, three years, we're going to kind of see who some of the winners are. And I mean, when we when we looked at these companies, really, you know, on a median basis, if you look at the median size, you're talking about like 400K in terms of revenue. So it's still like yeah. they're just tiny companies. Just tiny. Yeah. So and how are we going to create like a better business model for them as well, for the prop tech companies, but also for the corporate yeah. companies? Uh, because maybe the size of Finland or the Netherlands or Germany is too small still. Yeah, so we exactly. need to do some more That's maybe right. together in Europe. Yes. But how do you see that? Well, I see roles like for, for you know, global organizations like, you know, global prop tech and you know like kpmg because we're everywhere and yeah. so we can create connections not just in you know the local market but create connections elsewhere and so i think it's it, you know it's it's needed for for players like us to kind of facilitate those conversations bring people together i'd like to see more foreign capital come into finland and start investing because the investment sizes are still pretty small no. um a, a, again the median investment size is like 1.1 million in these companies we've had like 136 million over the last like six years or so yeah. um which i think is pretty but sizable it but it does need to yeah. grow yeah. and and the size of well, the, the guys from fifth wall are here i, I think yeah yeah, yeah, exactly. That'd be yeah. cool. Need we should have, have some conversations. Them. Yeah. And I mean, there is some initiative now to, um, you know, launch a prop tech fund in the Nordics. And so there are some conversations going on in the background now, which will be exciting to see in the next couple of months where that goes. Um, because I think a lot of the investors don't understand this space yet. And many of them, I mean, we work a lot with private equity and I'm having conversations with private equity. Of course, the companies are too small right now. So, you know, they're really interested in the space. When I go and talk to them, they're like, oh, this is amazing. You have 200 companies here, yeah. like, yeah. but how big are they? Yeah. And then, so, of course, the VCs are more used to in, in, in Finland, you know, looking at, you know, software companies, software as a service, uh, gaming, you know, so they're just not fully aware of, of real estate, of real estate and, and, and construction. construction. And then, of course, with the down cycle kind of here or coming, then I think, you know, even more investors are thinking like, mm, do I really want to touch this space? Yeah. But I think they're missing the point because this is actually untouched. Yeah, it's huge and, opportunity. I mean, we're in only in the beginning of disruption here. So I think that this is the time to get in here, I right? I think so too. <laughs> I totally agree with you, Sarah. Yeah. Well, if we wind this up, uh, uh, if we look into the glass bowl for the future, yeah. like, uh, what do you see in five years for the industry? As I said, we are at the starting point. Yep, yep. What do you see for, for construction and real estate I, in the I, future? I see that you know, in the next five years, the established players are going to be much more active in the space because they have to be and they're recognizing it now. And if we understand that we need to act, I think that we're going to be much closer to, you know, the how and we're going to have some success stories, which I think is really exciting. I'd like to see that, you know, prop tech sort of disappears, you know, because it'll be so integrated in what we're doing. Yeah. That's what I'd like to, but I don't think that we're going to be there in five years. No. I think it's too, too. <laughs> that's I, too fast for the yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to happen in five years, but that's where we need to go. Yeah. Just yeah, integrated in technology, in, digitalization. Yeah, it just, need to be it, in your it business just model. needs to be every day. Yeah. It should be cool. Yeah. One more thing, we're, together with KPMG, we always make the uh, KPMG overview with all the prop tech companies in there. Yep. We should have had a lot of uh, uh, Finnish companies in there next year. Yes. It would be great to work together on that as well. I just got the email from oh, really? Sander, yes. And now I'm a little bit overwhelmed because I have 200 companies almost. Yeah. And so we're, we're trying to figure out, well, how do we document that? And how do we you know put it in a format because I don't know how many companies, it was like 500 pages last year, and then now I in Finland, in like the smallest country ever, <laughs> you know, how... It would be a good example for all yeah, the other company, yeah, countries yeah. as well. But I'm really excited because actually, like, what I'd really like to see is... Um, you know, us get, uh, uh, like from the Nordics, I'd like to see our colleagues in the Nordics, you know, come and find those 100, 200 companies in each market because my clients don't just want to know what's happening in Finland. No. My, my, my clients are regional or if not global. And so for them, like, 
you know, it's great that we know about what's happening in Finland, but we want to know globally. Yeah, well, I think that's the this main point for the market. overview as well, yeah. because then you have like the, the, an exactly. overview of what is happening in this kind of exactly. space and IoT. Yes. And the, I see a couple of uh, companies that work in Finland, but I also can connect them, of, uh, compare them to companies exactly. from the Netherlands, from exactly. Spain, from the USA, yep. from all yep. from all over the world. And I think that's pretty uh, pretty good that you do that as KPMG. So uh, cool. happy to work together on that yes, as well. Yes, I'm excited. Yeah. Well, have fun this afternoon. What are you, you looking too. forward to the most uh, here at Rick Attack? Well, I mean, I'm I'm still, you know, working on, on, on a lot of stuff now. I mean, we're, we have our panel discussions. So I had a, a, a talk about the global prop tech, you know, survey results earlier today, as well as some of the analysis that we talked about, about the companies in Finland. So we've got a panel discussion coming up. Okay, um, nice. You know, a little bit later today, and you know, I'm looking forward to meeting more startups and you know having conversations about prop tech with the established companies that are here. So it's going to be a really intense day. Cool. How can people connect to you? So you can you can find me on the Brella app. You can find me on LinkedIn, and you can also you know come to the KPMG stand and you know hear talk to some of my other colleagues, and they can put you know people in touch with me. So. I'm out there. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thank you.